Welcome to my channel. In this video, we will see passwordless SSH and we will also try to SCP one file from one host to another. So, SSH stands for secure shell or secure socket shell. Uh, it is a cryptographic network protocol that allows two computers to communicate and share the data over the internet. Let us see how passwordless SSH works. So here we have two machines, one is SSH client and another is SSH server. So at client side we have two keys, private key and public key. And on server side we have a public key. So first client sends a connection request to server. Then server will encrypt message using public key. For so that client will use private key to decrypt that message. And uh, that is how connection is established between client and server. So once the connection is established, client can communicate with server. So here we have two machines with us. On the left hand side, we have host one. And on the right hand side, we have host two. So you can consider host one as a client and you can consider host two as a server. So we will try to configure our passwordless SSH uh, so that we can SSH. Uh, from host 1 to host 2 and uh, vice versa can also be done. Uh, both machines are running uh, in Oracle Enterprise Linux and this setup should work in any Linux distribution. So as per this diagram, uh, client should have public and private key. So we will generate public and private key uh, at the client side. Uh, before that, uh, let's try to SSH from host 1 to host Two. Uh, let's do for that we'll use uh, ssh command so ssh host 2 so this is prompting us to add host 2 in known host we will say yes and now it is asking us uh, for the password so once we give password it should log in into host 2 uh, let us exit from host 2 so you can see we are back again in host 1 uh, to generate private and public key you'll have to run ssh keygen here we can specify algorithm so by default it will be a rsa algorithm uh, but uh, we can also specify uh, it to dsa or uh, ec dsa key etc we can also specify key size here uh, by giving minus b option so we are giving 4096 uh, by default it should create 2048 size uh, key pair uh, let's hit enter so it is asking us to enter file path uh, where this key pairs will be generated uh, by default uh, this is the uh, path for the key pair uh, we will go with the defaults and hit enter here you can also give passphrase uh, but uh, we are not going to give passphrase because we want to ssh uh, without giving any password or passphrase and uh, hit enter again uh, with the empty passphrase uh, so our key pair is generated let's see so here we have a public key that is id underscore rsa dot pub and uh, this is the private key now we will have to share this public key to our server machine uh, for that uh, we can use two methods we can simply copy the content of this public key file and uh, paste it to authorized keys or we can use ssh copy id command to copy public key from host1 to host2 you can simply open this public file and this is the public key uh, we will copy this public key and we will copy this public key to authorized keys in host2 uh, let's do that So uh, we have opened this file in VI editor and uh, to save it press escape and uh, WQ will save it and quit the file. Also note uh, for authorized keys the path is our default path that is home uh, dot ssh. Let us try to ssh from host1 to host2 now. And you can see we can SSH from host1 to host2 without giving any password. 
Now let us use SSH copy ID command to copy public key from host1 to host2. For that, first we will revert our changes in host2. So let's delete uh, authorized keys from host2. And now, if you try to SSH from host1 to host2, you won't be able to SSH without giving password. So you can see it is asking us for a password. Now we will run ssh copy id command minus i and you will have to give uh, your public key path and then you will have to give a remote machine username and host name. Now it is asking us to give a password for host2 you can see a number of keys added equal to one uh, let's see in our host2 machine whether we have authorized keys or not so you can see uh, authorized key file has been generated automatically and uh, now we can try to ssh from host1 to host2 again and now you can see we are able to ssh from host1 to host2 so there is another way to copy public key from host1 uh, to host2 for that we will copy this public key from host1 to host2 and then uh, redirect uh, the content from public key to authorized keys uh, let's see that uh, before that we are going to uh, roll back our change for that we will just delete authorized keys now let us copy this uh, public key using scp command so this is the file which we want to copy here you can mention username also but uh, by default it is going to use oracle user because we are currently with oracle user in host one so we are not going to give oracle user here colon you can mention path so you can see it is asking us uh, for password because we have deleted authorized keys in host two so our file has been transferred let's see it and you can see our public key is here now we will create authorized keys uh, from this public key so you can use cat command and then you can redirect whatever content is inside this public key to authorized our authorized key has been created now we can try to ssh from host 1 to host 2 And you can see we are able to ssh from host1 to host2 and if you try to scp uh, from host1 to host2 now uh, it won't prompt for a password be because our public key is already shared to host2 uh, let's try to scp now and you can see uh, this time it didn't ask us for the password and we can verify in the host too as well if you want to ssh uh, from host 2 to host 1 uh, without giving any password similarly you will have to generate keys and then you will have to share public key with host 1 uh, we can do that i am sharing public key of host 2 from host 2 to host 1 i'm simply creating authorized keys here now we can try to ssh from host 2 to host 1 you can see we are able to ssh from host 2 to host 1 that's it for this video in the upcoming videos we will our JDBC data source creation. We will see how to create JMS queues. Along with that, we will try to create a Hello World service in OSB, and uh, we will also see a web logic automation. So, in this video, we have seen how to SSH from one host to another in Linux environment. We have also covered how to use SCP command to copy keys from one host to another if you found this video helpful please like my videos
subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the further notification don't forget to leave a comment so that i can cover different different topics for you in the upcoming videos thank you